Hey, uh, welcome to this uh, demonstration on how to install Gromax 5.0.1. Um, if you haven't seen any of my other stuff, my name is Mike, and hopefully we can get you through this. Um, I made this uh, Linux virtual machine. This is just regular Ubuntu. This is 14.0.4, uh, possibly 0.1 after that. I don't know how it goes, but uh, this is just very regular Linux. I haven't done anything crazy to this yet, um, and I made it just for this demonstration here. So hopefully everybody can get it installed right. Now, um, for those of you that might use apt-get or just download and install it right away without doing any effort, uh, some can get away with that. The problem is that the current one out there is version 4.6.5, an older version, and uh, it does not work on all machines. Uh, if your machine's anything like mine or my laptop, uh, I've installed this on a lot of machines, and you'll get core dumps and just tons of errors and really you want to do it this way. It's a little more effort, it's actually a lot more effort, but uh, it's worth it in the end because you end up with a fully working version of 5.0. So anyway, without uh, taking up much more of your time, let's get started. Now I have this Cairo doc down here I'm going to be using for terminal, but if you don't, just go up here or to wherever your search is, search terminal and click it. All right, now the first thing we're going to want to do is install CMake and before that we need a prerequisite which is a C++ compiler. Now the big one for Linux is G++ and luckily you can get that just by entering in the terminal sudo, I know some people say sudo, apt get install G++. Now I'm not going to hit enter because I already have G++ but uh, you can see what would happen. Now, you are, you are going to go through a download process, um, so just pause this video. Whenever this is done and ready, then you can continue. Now, the next thing we're going to need is you have to go over to your web browser, and you're going to have to download the latest version of CMake. Uh, CMake is also easily installed using sudo apt-get. You could do sudo apt-get install CMake, but don't. <laughs> I'm sorry that I typed this out for those of you without audio. Um, uh, don't do that because that version is 2.8.1. That'll work on older versions of Gromax, but not this 5.0.1 version. Uh, for that one, you have to get the actual source code, and you can get that from CMake's website here, uh, right here. Um, you go here, just do download, and look for this guy here. Now you're going to download that one. Um, while you're here, also look up the FFTW that's uh, the Fast Fourier Transform. We need that for Gromax. And you're going to want to download this guy. So uh, hopefully you can see all these URLs here. If not, I'll have them linked in the video. And then finally, um, the Gromax site, you can find Gromax 5.0. You probably found that by now if you're on this video. But uh, those are the uh, tar GZ files that you need. And uh, let's get started. So for those of you that aren't familiar with Linux, it's a pretty great thing. Um, but you're going to be doing a lot of work in the terminal. And you're going to be doing a lot of work in the terminal once you have Gromax installed. So, if it helps you out while you're navigating, keep a file explorer like Nautilus here open. Uh, it's called just files, but it's actually a program called Nautilus. Um, keep this open and running, because uh, it's really it helps you visualize it if you're not good with terminals quite yet. A good tip with terminals is type ls, and I'll show you everything. We want to get to downloads, because that's where most likely all of those folders were downloaded to. So go cd downloads. There we go. Type ls. There we go. Those are our three things we need. We have CMake. That's the C compiler we're going to use for Gromax. We have the fast forward transform that Gromax is going to need. And of course, we got the big bad boy, Gromax. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get CMake, because nothing happens without this guy. So. Um, a tar file is basically a compressed file, so we're going to do the command tar uh, xzvf and then start typing cmake, but then press tab and Linux will fill the rest in for you. Hit enter and it unzips it very quickly. Linux is very good at unzipping. So go into, then say cd. cd is like uh, going into a folder. See? downloads we have this guy we made so CD is clicking on this folder these are we're gonna see these in a second CD CMake dash 3.0.1 type LS again see what's inside yep these are the same files you see we're following along here so they made it very easy the nice people at CMake so 
This configure, you see how it's like kind of a different color, maybe it doesn't come through in the video. Uh, this is an executable file. So you can actually run this dot slash configure. Now this might take a minute, so um, I already have CMake installed on my computer, so I'm not going to do this, but you would let it go. So I'm going to cut that short. Um, you would let it finish to the end. And then what you're going to do is you type make. Now, if you know how many cores or threads your system has, you would do hyphen J and then the number of threads. Um, mine has six right now. Um, it's an eight-core machine running a six-core virtual machine. But... Uh, you do however many that is. And then you'll have a wall of text fly by probably, and that might take a little while. Make is a big intensive process. So you'll wait till that finishes up. And then what you're gonna wanna do is sudo make install. And then again, that J, and then whatever number of cores you have, I would do six. You might do four or three or two, or one if you're really unfortunate. Um, so sudo make install, and you let that finish. Now, when that's done, it's not fully in there yet. Um, what you're gonna have to do is a little confusing, so watch this part carefully. Type in sudo nautilus, just like that. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna type, or it's gonna bring this up with basically administrator privileges, um, or super user privileges, they're called in Linux. Um, so we're in here, and you're gonna wanna go to computer and then click the search guide here. Let's find out where that CMake binary was placed. Oh, we don't even need to know. So you're gonna find it, just this guy here. Copy. So now you copy the CMake. Don't, don't worry about what's filling up in there. Go to computer, go to user, use it, USR, sorry, bin. And now these are all the binaries that are on your user account. These are all the commands that you'll see right away just from the install. And you just want to paste it in here. Now, see, I already have it, but you just paste it in. So I'm just going to skip that. So now that you have that, you have CMake installed on your computer, and you very lazily path the binary. Um, there's a smarter way to do that, and we are not going to worry about that right now. Um, OK. so. That's it for CMake. So press CD, type CD dot dot. That's like the back key. So see, we're back in downloads. Click back, and we're back here. So we're done with this guy.